tonight on the Houston's on our own. I have been here for everyone. I hope we don't enjoy a wedge between you and your daughter. She needs to actually look up and look at her daughter. She needs some help. Hi, Auntie hey, Pat. baby. I think what I'm going to do is just... We're not breaking up the family or anything, are we? Why would I rush and go back there, especially to the place that mom passed away? And you're just going to send me off like this? You're leaving us here. Cooking it, Auntie Pat. Green beans, mashed potatoes, which oh, is Chrissy's okay. favorite. Okay. Barbecue chicken, which is one of your favorites. Mm -hmm. Where's Chrissy anyway? She... Oh, we got in a uh, big argument, so she went off with one of her friends and kind of just getting some some time. Chrissy and Nick have been fighting a lot lately. I've been hearing everything secondhand through Ray, so I'm kind of shocked that Nick is here to confide in me. She's so spoiled, and I can't help it. She told me, she said, everybody thinks I'm bratty. I said, you are, but it's OK. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you it's are. The truth. I knew from the start that Chrissy and Nick's relationship was a distraction for her and her well-being. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Every time a person tries to explain something to you, or they be explaining stuff to you, they definitely be talking to themselves, too. They mm -hmm. have experienced something. Yeah. So they like telling you, but they they thinking about that situation. So, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know what I do? You know, with a lot of advice that that you or Uncle G, anybody gives me, you know, like I uh, like I pick and choose pretty That's much. What you're you to. know the stuff, and then I put it into my own interpretation, and exactly. I go with it from there. But I always do use the advice. Chrissy and Nick have been fighting a lot lately. It's taking a lot of energy out of her, and she's not focusing on her career. Your script came. You can just take a look at it a little bit later. You know what I'm saying? See if you like the storyline. That sounds good. As a matter of fact, you are very good at it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I'm working on my music now, too. Have you decided what genre, if you're that you're thinking of? It's going to be just me. You but... know I learned from the best, and if I don't like it, I'm going to be all up in everybody's I job. I know. I know. You're going to be sitting right there. <laughs> <laughs> my goals for my future are to definitely become a successful singer. It's like, you know, what else am I supposed to do? Like, I, I know nothing but. Whatever you do, let it be your decision and not someone else's. <sighs> So we still have a lot we have to do to the apartment, but it's good. It does. Thank you so much. Mm. I'm feeling better today. Yeah, I am. If you're not there for me to grab, I reach for you know, like I got, I think I'm reaching for him, you know, like. So if he ever left, I don't, I don't know what I will do. I knew from the start that Chrissy and Nick's relationship was a distraction for her. I'll see you again soon. Yeah. All right, pumpkin. Okay. See you later. Uh, double lock. It's open, sweetheart. Come in. Hi, Auntie Hey, Pat. baby. How, How are, are you? you? I placed a call to Nick because I know Chrissy will not do anything without his blessing. Can you talk to me about something? I do. Chrissy is trying very, very hard, and she's trying to focus. She's trying to focus as much as she can. Chrissy needs me in a huge way. I think what I'm going to do is just, um, I'm going to set it up to take her to California. We're not breaking up the family or anything, are we? No, I'm not doing anything like that. I just have to concentrate on Chrissy. Any way that I can help, you know, I, I'll do it. 
If I need to step out, you know, of the picture for a second, I'll do it. I only want the best for Chrissy. It's been a rough couple of months, and I'll do whatever it takes. I think it will better her. And she's going to lash out at you. And primarily, she's going to lash at you because she's so close to you. She has been since she came into her world. And she is grieving. So I think the best thing to do is to change things. We have to change things to make it work for her. I know Chrissy and I are having our issues. But being without her is something I don't know if I can deal with. We're going to have to get through this. And this is the only way that I know how to do this. It's not a separation, you know, it's just a matter of, of putting her needs before ours. Every, yeah. Coming up. I have been here for everyone. I hope it don't enjoy ways between you and your daughter. Why would I rush and go back there, especially to the place that mom passed away? Sure too. Nothing. I'm trying to update this stuff on my computer. Right, How you been so doing? Nothing much. Uh, I had a, hey, a conversation with that pal last night. You done? What yeah. kind of conversation? About uh, um, you know, your career and how she wants it to take off. She was thinking about uh, taking you back to LA to where all your coaches were at and stuff, and I agreed with her. Auntie Pat had no right to talk to Nick about me moving to L.A. It's my choice, and it's my decision to do this. It has nothing to do with him. L.A.? I don't think so. Like, I don't, I don't want to just get up and go. Like, especially to the place that mom passed away. Why would I, why would I rush and go back there? I'm not just going to get up and go and work. I really think it's the right decision for Chrissy to go. And if she doesn't, she could be making a huge mistake. So what are you going to do in the meantime? Work from here. Work from Atlanta. There's a lot of opportunities here. You know, like, there's there's so many people here. Like, there's, you know, like, you know, like, Tiny and everyone. Like, I've, I've talked to them, you know. Like, there's opportunities here that, you know, I can take advantage of until I'm ready to go to L.A. I'm very conflicted. I want to start my career and definitely want to make my mom proud, but I definitely don't want to split apart from Nick. Well, maybe you need to consider about going to LA because your acting coach and your singing coach are out there. Right now, I need a break. Like, I need to stay home and stay stable somewhere, like, yeah. because it's a lot. So I'd rather just stay home and work from here you know, until I'm ready to go to L.A., because I'm not ready. Wow. I have to talk to you about something. I'm all ears. What's up? You know, we've been <clears throat> trying to move on with our lives since Nippy's passing. And I've tried every angle as it relates to giving Chrissy directive for, to help her. I know her mother had sent her to California before when she started dealing with Debbie, the acting coach. And she was working with the vocal coach as well. I'm gonna make a decision to take her to California. It's not really working here. There are distractions. I know we've discussed me not being around even when Nippy was here, but now I'm asking for more time. I have to take Chrissy and I have to take her alone. <laughs> Pat is not really thinking about me or Raya right now, even though this is best for Chrissy. Ray is starting high school right now, and she needs her mother. I'm very disappointed that Pat is not really considering our needs at all. I'm not feeling all that, you know. I'm not feeling, I'm not too pleased about it because of the, all the things that have already been done, and nothing has really made a difference. 
Gary, that's why I have to go. I have no, to take her and go. It's not, nothing's going to make a difference, really. That's but why how you can have... you say nothing is going to make a difference? I mean, we have... We haven't had time for me, you, and Rhea, you know, especially Rhea. But, Gary, what am I supposed to do? I have to help her. She has to have somebody to guide her and navigate her, Gary. Yeah, she's been, we've been there. We've had everything set up. Everything was set up in every situation, and she hasn't met those demands. What makes you think those demands are not going to be, are going to be met when you take her out there? I have to give it a try. I think you've given it your best try. Gary, can you look at me and talk to me? No, I, I, I know what you look like. I'm trying to figure out what you're talking about. No, you don't want to hear what I'm saying to you. I have to be there yeah, but, for her. Yeah, I'm, so why can't we do it here? Why can't we do it because here? Because there are too many distractions here, Gary. Plenty of musicians work in Atlanta, Georgia. It's ridiculous for Pat to think that Chrissy can only excel in L.A. I need your help. There is no way I can do this I without you. I don't know how you. I can help you. I don't know how I can help you. Oh, I can you, help you. you're telling me that you're not going to? I'm saying I don't know how to help you. The only way I can help you is be here with, with, with the Rhea, basically. It's about Rhea and it's about me. Tell me that it's all right with you It's in not your all heart. right with me. It's really not all right with me. I want Gary's blessing, but I'm going to take Chrissy if I have it or not. She deserves a chance at life, and I'm not going to let anyone stop me from helping her to achieve just that. If you're not all right with it, it's going to feel in your spirit, and Rhea's going to feel that. She feels it right now. We, and she don't even know nothing about this. I have been here for everyone. I just don't see where it's going to take off, where it's going to make a difference in Chrissy's situation. If you can do it here. You can do it here. I'm not doing it here, Gary. I, 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 I can't agree with all that. Well, I, you know what, Gary? I can't agree with it, and I can't always just, you know, understand. I hope this situation does not drive a wedge between us. Well, uh, it has already. I really do. I hope it doesn't enjoy a wedge between you and your daughter. I just need a little understanding from you. I hope it doesn't drive a wedge between you and your daughter. That's what you need to be paying attention to. Coming up. I hope everything works out the way you have it all figured out in your head. So you're just going to sit there, you know, no hug, no nothing. You're just going to sit me off like this? You're leaving us here. I'm doing what I have to do right now. I want to show you something. I want you to see this. Look at that. Carpet table book. A photography of your mommy. See how radiant she looks right there? Yeah. That was you in there. Oh, no. 22 photographers put their heart, mind, and soul into this. And it ends up with what she really loved, which is that little person sitting right there on her lap. Yeah. Look at how she's looking at you, and look at how you look at your mother. I know. We've had a lot of distractions, and you have been struggling, and I don't like to see that. It's not that I'm struggling. It's that my mom just died eight months ago. I know. I spent 18 years with her, 18 years of my life. It's the first year I'm not with her. You know, it, it seems like everything has been taken, but it hasn't. <laughs> she left things in order for you. Yeah. I'm going to make sure that you're OK. We've tried connecting you with, you know, vocal coaches here, acting coaches here. I think it's time for us to probably go to California to connect with people that I've been working with for a while and for you to stay focused, try to stay focused for a minute without any distractions. And I think it should just be me and you. Going back to California is a big deal for me. And I don't know how I feel about it. And I don't know how I feel about leaving Nick. He's going to be okay. Trust me when I tell you. I know he will, but we're, we're, we're close. We're very close. If I go to LA, I'm not sure what will happen with me and Nick. 
I definitely couldn't handle losing him as well. You can't, you can't walk this by yourself. But you have to walk that path with someone that's been there for a very long time. Of course. That can show you the ropes. I will think about it and, you know, we'll see. I understand what Etsy Pat is trying to do, but this is my decision and no one has anything to do with it. I'm gonna have to think about it. I got it. So, Rhea, you seem bored. I am bored. I'm sorry. <laughs> Truthfully, I am bored. I have always been there as a mother. I'm nervous to tell Rhea about the plan to take Chrissy to L.A. I don't know how she's going to react, and I don't want her to think that I'm abandoning the family. I mean, I'm starting to go to school, high school now. But I, I'm busy, but I'm also taking care of you. You know, I mean, what exactly are you saying to me? Like, it's time for, you know, to go school shopping. And we've done a little bit of school uh, yeah, shopping. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. You're doing everything. You're like freaking Wonder Woman right now. You're just doing too much. You're doing everything. It's just like, am I good enough? She needs to actually look up and look at her daughter and husband. Like, I mean, seriously? She needs some help. You're leaving me speechless here, Rhea. I'm helping someone to help themselves. That's what I'm doing. Rhea, have you, you're too young to really understand, but life isn't just about you. It, I know. You, I don't mean you. I know that. I didn't mean to say it like that. Lord knows I didn't. But you know what, Rhea, you may not understand all that I do right now. You just have to trust mommy. You also have to trust the fact that no one is more important to me than you. You get it? I get it. You get it. All right, now. Chrissy thought it over and decided that going to L.A. is what she really needs right now, so we're making the move. I don't know if Gary will forgive me, but I know that if I do not take her right now, I will not forgive myself. You're really going to go through with this, right? Gary, I don't think I have a choice right now in every decision that I make now does not just revolve around me, you and Rhea. Chrissy is involved now. I don't know what I'm gonna say to Rhea because Rhea's gonna have something to say to me. I've spoken to Rhea and everything is already taken care of. You know, I really can't get behind this plan. I love Chrissy and I would do anything for her, but it really shouldn't be at the expense of our family. And I'm really surprised that Pat isn't really right now considering us. I don't really know what this is going to do in the future to our relationship. I just need for you to understand, really. Okay. I hope everything works out the way you, you know, have it all figured out in your head. I, I really do. I hope it works out. Gary and Rhea are standing on a strong foundation. I would not leave if I felt that they would not be OK. So you're just going to sit there and just be just, you know, yeah. no hug, no nothing. You're just going to send me off like this? You're leaving us here. Yeah. I'm doing what I have to do right now. We all have to readapt to this situation. I hope it really works out for you. I feel that it is my responsibility to get Chrissy to a place where she can stand on her own, and I know that's what her mother would expect of me. I believe in you and me. I believe that we will be. Six months ago, the most important person in my life passed away. People are so quick to judge when they're not in your skin. But it is my mom, and I am grieving in my own way. For you and for your mother's sake, you have to make choices that are good. And today, I'm much stronger for it. 
I don't know if this is the right decision, but I have to give my career a real shot. The, the talent is one thing, exactly. but it's really, you know, important to find your voice. My mom raised me not to make a fool of myself over any man. Maybe I'll see Nick when I get back. All right, let's rock. Let's do it.